Even though it's a new month, two empty seats at the Lubbock County Commissioner's dais has become a very familiar sight for a lot of us. Yeah, it really has. The two who are skipping out say they're still doing a protest, doing it in protest against the county raising taxes. KOBK's Maddie Powers was there at this morning's meeting to kind of get a full scope on things. Maddie, what did we hear new today? A number of taxpayers spoke at this morning's meeting in support of Commissioner Corley's and Commissioner Rackler's decision to not show up today. And one of the items on the agenda concerned their absences. We cannot consider a tax rate for the county. Uh, what that means is that we're kind of on hold right now until we can get a, a, a quorum present. This is the second time in a row where Lubbock County Commissioners Jason Corley and Jordan Rackler have decided to skip out on their bi-weekly commissioners court meeting, in turn preventing the approval of the tax rate increase. We've got two commissioners that kind of want to hijack the process and force in a rate that is not the, the rate that was decided on over the summer. We worked on this budget. Uh, we added some things to this budget. We deleted lots of things out of this budget to get us to a point where we meet the needs of Lubbock County and the citizens of Lubbock County. Here's the thing, right now, times are tough. You know, um, I've got people in my community that are, uh, you know, trying to pay for their kid to, to play t-ball and they're having to put it on a payment plan. Uh, you know, we've got people that are uh, putting off uh, buying, uh, buying kids clothes. Uh, you know, if you start saying 30, 60, 90 bucks, that's a trip to the doctor's office, you know, if you've got kids. So, I mean, we just can't afford the tax increase right now. Because of Reckler and Corley's protest, County Judge Parrish, along with Commissioners Gilbert Flores and Terrence Kovar, who showed up, say they are now being forced to postpone the vote until the next meeting later this month. At Monday's meeting, the three remaining members discussed suspending Rackler and Corley's county credit cards, but eventually decided to table the issue for now. Corley believes this wasn't a coincidence. And it's obviously retaliatory against me and Rackler. And, and the thing about it, though, I use that I use that county credit card so I can hire uh, smaller contractors to do work on the county park, which uh, they can get paid right away. As soon as they finish the job, they give me an invoice, and I can get them paid with that credit card, and they don't have to wait 30 days on their money. Well, that allows me to uh, hire uh, less expensive contractors, and it lets me use small businesses, too. So it doesn't really hurt me. It hurts them. But Parrish says this has nothing to do with the commissioner's absence, but is all connected to park-related expenses, which Parrish claims are part of broader budget cuts. No, it, 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 it doesn't, other than because of their absence, we're going to have to make these cuts. But Precinct 2 and Precinct 4 are the only two precincts that have parks attached to them. Now, remember, if a vote on the tax rate increase isn't done at the next commissioner's court meeting on the 23rd, the county will return to its non-revenue tax rate. Commissioners Corley and Rackler tell me they are also planning to skipping that meeting as well. A lot to follow there, Maddie. Thank you very much for your reporting there. Well,